So the Appalachian Trail stretches from Georgia to north into central northern Maine. It's over 2,200 miles long, and I want to hike it. Uh, me and my friend Dave, we've been best friends for a really long time. I've known him since I was really young. Uh, we rode on the same bus together and everything. Uh, he, get, he got this idea a few years ago to, uh, to hike the Appalachian Trail. He read the book uh, AWOL in the AT, and uh, you know, ever since then he's been really into it. And he actually, he's the one who got me into it. Uh, yeah, so I'm going with Dave next year. And, you know, a lot of people, they just go by themselves. Uh, they don't really have anybody that's, you know, willing to go with them. Uh, maybe like a sibling or something. I've seen that before on the trail, but nothing like, you know, your best friend, your best friend of all time, you know, going and hiking with you. It's going to be pretty awesome. Uh, trail names. Everybody usually gets a trail name. And, uh, get that just you know random people give it to you somebody maybe somebody you know or uh, you know just just from something that funny that happened to you or you know where you're from it really depends so it kind of just whatever sticks uh, basically what's gonna happen is you know you have a pack and be, you know you have your you have all your essentials you have your tent you have your sleeping bag you know all your food and basically everything you know tiny little luxuries that you want uh, but basically you know you want to try and keep the pack as light as you can and uh, you know so you don't have to lug a lot of stuff uh, my pack weight what I want it to be is winter weight which is with all my clothes uh, you know under layers and all that stuff I want it to be around 13 pounds so that's a that's a really good uh, estimate. You know, I'm trying to get all the lightest stuff that I can. I am going to put out a gear video, so look forward to that. Uh, money really shouldn't be an issue. Uh, I am saving up though. Uh, you definitely want to budget it uh, correctly. Uh, you should probably have somewhere a little over $2,000 uh, to go, and that's, that's doing it, you know, kind of like bare essentials, you know, your food. You don't really stay at uh, hotels that often, and, and, you know, just like stuff like that. Uh, resupplies and showers. Uh, resupplies, you hit a town about every four to five days, maybe even less than that. So, you know, you can either get a hitch or some towns are like right there next to the trail. So that's going to be pretty cool going through towns so you're not just out there you don't have to carry all your food so you know you just gotta manage that wisely oh and showers you don't really take showers uh, you're out there you know when you hit a town you need to take a shower or, you know if you see a nice nice stream you know kind of strip down and take a shower and that so uh, yeah a lot of people say that through hikers really smell. They do. So, yeah. Uh, my dog Troy. He's right here. I don't know if you can see him or not, but uh, my mom is gonna watch him along the way. The trip is gonna take right around four to five months. So, I mean, me and David, we're really gonna take our time with it. Really gonna like do it right. So, yeah. Uh, we're thinking about doing a documentary along the way. So, we're gonna get like, Dave already has all of his camera gear. I'm gonna get mine later, probably right before the trail later next year. So, we're gonna film like a documentary type thing. And it's gonna be pretty awesome. It's gonna be mostly about the people. And then we're gonna have, it's gonna be like, chapter in a book it's gonna we're gonna have like the people that we're gonna have you know the actual trail and the scenes and everything and then like what hikers go through so it's gonna be very well put together 
So I'm looking forward to doing that and capturing all that footage. Uh, my goal, my ultimate goal is to hike the Triple Crown. If you don't know what that is, it's you have the Appalachian Trail on the East Coast that goes from Georgia to Maine, and then you have the PCT, which is the Pacific Coast Trail, which goes from California all the way up through Washington, from the basically from the Mexican border all the way up to the Canada border. And then you also have the Continental Divide Trail, which is the middle one. It goes from Mexico to Canada, but it goes from uh, Arizona all the way up through Colorado and all those all those middle states right there. So that's going to be really awesome, really breathtaking. But when I get back after I'm done with everything, like you know, all the hikes, well, I'm never going to be done hiking, but. When I'm done with those, probably right after the Pacific Coast Trail, uh, me and Dave, we want to open up a gear shop. Basically, we're going to do like a hiker hostel, and we're also going to have like a shop next to it where, you know, hikers can get their gear, you know, replenish if they need to, and everything like that. So, it's going to be kind of like an, an all-in-one type thing. Uh, for hikers, but you know, we're gonna make it so that it's fairly priced and everything and you know, everything is is pretty well, you know, thought out. So it's not just gonna be some, you know, hole in the wall <laughs> that you see in a lot of places. Let's see. So why I wanna hike the Appalachian Trail. Uh, I just love it. Because there's so many views that you can see, there's, there's, it's just almost never ending. And when you're out there for months, uh, you really get to, you know, you really get to think about it, you really get to sort stuff out, you really get to, because you're heading somewhere, you really know, you know where you're going, you know what direction you're in. So there's no, there's really no uncertainties. I think that's, that's mainly why I like to hike.